Missions are so very, very vital to our uh, for our city that it's a big deal to me, and I really appreciate all the hard efforts and works that everybody that does that works on the various commissions. We got a former commissioner here in Deb Reynolds who was uh, terrific for a number of years on planning and zoning. So, with that, we really appreciate the work and efforts that all those commissioners do for us. Okay, with that, I will move on to the next thing, which is public comment period, mayor's response uh, period, which is a 15-minute period that we run along, and I allow people to get up and state their name um, and give them three minutes, as long as it's something that is not on our agenda this evening or something that is before planning and zoning or a board of adjustments, you can sure tell us what's on your mind. So feel free to come up. Mayor and City Council members, my name is Kelly Moore. I live at 1025 South Logan. I'm here tonight because I'm angry. Not angry at you, but angry at the direction of this country. We have a president who does not understand the cop concept of the, quote, separations of power. In his condemnation of a sitting federal judge who blocked his blatantly racist immigration order. It seems to me that Mr. Trump, as well as the governor of the state of Idaho, do not understand the Second Amendment, which states, quote, Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. By saying Christians should have a right or even a preference to come to the United States and to the state of Idaho, they have both crossed the clear wall of separation between church and state. In reality, though, all politics are local. And you, as my mayor and city council, have the most impact on my life here in Moscow. I therefore respectfully petition you to declare Moscow a sanctuary city and that you further send a letter to the members of the Idaho legislature in opposition to House Bill 76 requiring our local police to be under the direction of a federal immigration official. In addition, if you cannot support Moscow as a sanctuary city, I would like to know the reasons why from each of you. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. My name's Deborah Reynolds. I reside at 1025 South Logan. Would you pull the mic down, please? Thank you. Is that better? Kelly is a little taller than you are, Debbie, so. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he is. Well, only in height now. I mean, in <laughs> not in statue there, so. I just totally agree with Kelly, but because I come at the world from a probably a more... Uh, less factual driven point of view, more of a, an emotional level than he does. What I want to say is these are really scary times and I can't, I can't even fathom what's at stake. It's so scary. So what I would like to do is encourage you to really pour your hearts and your conscience into making a decision about where our city stands. Um, I'd like you to think very clearly and with a sense of what the decisions that are made today, whether it's in Moscow or anywhere, but Moscow, where you have some say, what's that going to mean to all of our futures? You're all really good people. So I would hope that you could really dig down and look at human decency and the kindness that's in you and not be intimidated. Be, be courageous. 
Thank you, Deb. Uh, you know, I want to make a comment on this too, and I very much appreciate both of you folks coming forward and talking about this. We are working on a resolution. The city of Moscow is what will be going before both the public works and admin uh, committees next Monday, talking about this very thing. Uh, look at if. You know, I tell people this all the time. My my mom was a full Swede. Her parents came from Sweden, so I'm half Swede. My dad, I've got no clue, so I call myself half Swede and half Heinz 57. <coughs> Point is, uh, I was an immigrant somewhere along the bloodline from somewhere, and the only ones that I know that wouldn't be would be Native Americans. That's why I see it. So for as far as immigrants are concerned, this city will always welcome them. And what we ask of anybody that would come to Moscow is we want you to be productive, work hard, and fit into part of our diverse community. It's as simple as that. And um, as far as local government's concerned, that's exactly one of the reasons I ran for mayor, to get a chance to make a difference in our community, as well as these counselors up here. And you are right. It's what we do at the local level that makes it. And, um, some of the craziness that goes on above us, we have no control on. But one thing we can do is we can work as a community to make things happen for us, just like I, the comments I made earlier about working with those in Pullman to make our region the best we possibly can make it. Because if we're going to make it happen for us, it's going to be about us here in Moscow. We're not going to get help from somebody else somewhere else. We've got to make it for ourselves. I totally believe that. And I think that the six counselors up here would agree with that. So more to come with that. Look uh, towards it, and we will see which direction this takes us.